as you can see all these quick shots are made by powerpoint using morph transition you can apply this to your home office or even school it's very useful for you i advise you to watch this video it's very useful and you will love the results So our first example is to explain to my students some country's location. The normal way to do that is to describe the country location or just point at it. But there's a better way to do that. So I will go to the first slide and duplicate it by clicking the mouse right click or control MD. Then I will just zoom out and then enlarge the photo. So the attention will be on the country I want to present on the second slide. Next step is again to duplicate the, the second slide again by pressing mouse right click and then duplicate the slide or just control and D I will move the photo to the next country I want to concentrate on that will be Australia I will zoom the photo again again I will repeat the same steps and duplicate the slide now I will move the photo to Brazil See the preview on the left hand until it's in the middle of the slide. Again, I will duplicate the slide again and move the photo to Canada. Now I will go to the original slide and duplicate it again and move it to the end. Now let's play our presentation. This is how it looks without PowerPoint Morph. Now let's try Morph. I will just go to the second slide until the last one. I will press Shift and then I will go to Transition and Morph. And let's play our presentation now. This is how it looks with Morph. Perfectly good. Second example, we are going to present some animals to our kids. So the first thing we will do is to copy and paste the same photographs to the same slide. The second photographs, we will go to photo picture format and then we will go to color and choose the light gray. Then we will send it to the back then I will duplicate the same slide by pressing the mouse right click or control and D and then I will choose both photographs and zoom it in now make sure you have choose both images I will zoom in to concentrate on the animal I want to bring the kids attention on then I will repeat the same steps again and I will zoom to the next animal I want the kids attention to be on that will be the rabbit and then I will duplicate the same slide again and again I will move the photo to the place I want to bring the attention of the kids on again I will repeat the same steps again Now finally, I will go to the original slide and duplicate that slide and send it to the end of the presentation so we can see all the animals at the end. Now we go back to the second slide and choose the photographs, the first one which is in color. And then we will go to crop and choose crop to shape. And I can choose any shape I want but in this example I will go for oval. Make sure you don't move the photographs because it will cut it. Just go back and press on crop, crop again and use the crop handles to put the attention on the animal you want the kids to see on the second slide. That will be a bird. 
Then I will go to the third slide and I will repeat the same steps again. I will go to crop, then crop to shape, and I will choose any shape I want. I will choose again rectangular shape. Then I will press crop again and concentrate on the animal I want the kids to take the attention on. I will repeat the same steps again for slide number 4 and 5. I can choose any shape I want. Now we will choose the fox. And at the last slide I will go for the ball. Again crop, shape. I will choose any shape I want. Then again, we press crop and move the crop handle to the animals I want. And that's the last slide. So we'll go back to the second slide, press shift until the end. And then I will go to transition. I will activate morph. And now let's see how our presentation will look like. This is a good presentation for school students or you can do it at home for your kids. A third example, I have a crowded slide with a lot of animals and the type of food they are eating. I have separated into different slides so each slide have an animal and so on. Now I will go to second slide until the end press shift and I will activate morph. Now let's play the presentation and see how the presentation will look like. Now we can notice that the arrow is moving between objects and the reason for that it's morphing is that originally I have copied and pasted that arrow in the original slide so even it has a different object name or description it is still morphing so PowerPoint will morph any object copied and pasted to any slide now for the other objects like the animals originally I have inserted those objects from icons so go to insert and see these icons where I have inserted all these objects. So even though I can still morphing those by changing the name of it by typing to explanation mark and then type any name you want, I will type here image. Then copy and paste it to the second slide. Keep on paste that to all slides. Select the object and then paste it. So now when I play my presentation, Morph will understand that those are the same objects, so it will start morphing. Just keep on writing the same name until the last slide. Now let's play the presentation and see how it will morph. Now we start notice that even the objects which is the animal which I have inserted from icons, start to morphing. So we notice here that there is no effect to the text. So what I will do in this case, I will just go again and select all slides, pressing shift, go until the end. And then I will go to transition, I will go to effect options, I will choose characters. Now let's play the presentation and see how it's morphing. That's really nice. You will see now even the text is morphing. 